It's just Bruce. He don't bite. <laughs> Hello. Hey, folks. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> That's not really my kitchen. I'm actually sitting down in the shop. It's a mess. I threw the green screen up right quick because I want to talk to you about knives tonight. Knives. Now, me personally, I have been cooking since I was 19 years old. Uh, actually, no, 16. 19's when I went to culinary arts school. I started cooking at 16 in this little bitty restaurant in a place here in Greensburg, Pennsylvania called uh, Soup and Sandwich at Greengate Mall. And uh, nobody really remembers the place except for people my age. But anyway, that's my was my very first cooking job. My job was to work the grill. And that's where I learned how to make some of the soups or at least the basis of how to make some of my soups. And I've been carrying it all these years. I'm 53 now, like I always say. Anyway, it was my first cooking job, and I knew from that job, as soon as I got it, that I wanted to be a chef. So I worked a couple years, and then when I was 19, I went to Culinary Arts Institute. And uh, that's where I learned uh, a little bit. I actually I actually learned more working under chefs than I did in school. But um, I did do, good, did do very well in, at, at the Culinary Arts Institute. Um, when you sign up for... When you take classes, culinary arts, and one of the requirements, just like if you go to any school, like uh, you go to any college, they make you buy books. Well, of course, you had to buy your own set of knives because any tradesman has to have his own set of tools. Now, this was back in, I believe, 1989, I want to say. 1989, 1990, sometime around then, where I bought my very first set of knives. And here they are. A set of uh, Frederick Dick knives. And I bought them used. I bought them used off another... Um, another student that was down there and even when i bought them and i was using them people's like well you have to get the most expensive knives and i didn't really know anything about them back then since then i found out that they're apparently the cadillac of knives uh german steel which never wears out here i am 30 some years later i'm still using them and these knives have gotten so much use out of them no i'm not plugging frederick dick i'm just trying to tell you about something that happened that's really cool now if you look up here this way <laughs> someday i'll get that right all right, we're going to go from, I guess, left to right. The one on the left is a, is a long slicer knife. In fact, I'm, it's right here in front of me. Long slicer knife. This can be used for bread. It can be used for roasts. It's a very versatile serrated knife. And I used this a lot. And it is just the best knife I have in my kitchen. Um, it's just amazing. Cutting watermelons, big, long um, prime ribs. Uh, bread, you name it, anything, this kind of nice one needs. So this is a necessity in your kitchen to have a good serrated knife. I'll see what's next here. I don't have much room down here. My 10-inch chef's knife. This is probably the second most used knife I, ha knife I have. I know it looks like something out of a horror movie, but this knife is just, any kitchen needs a 10-inch or even a 12-inch if you want to go really crazy. But a 10-inch chef's knife is great for chopping, cutting, uh, just general usage, slicing your meat, whatever you need it for. Uh, this is a boning knife. And this is the whole reason I made the video. Because um, I had had one that went with this original set. And I broke the handle right here. It cracked on me. And I couldn't fix it. Even though me being a toy maker, I couldn't fix it. So... That was like a few years ago, a few years back. And I used this knife more than anything. I mean, use this for anything. You know, whether you're carving a turkey at Thanksgiving, cutting up your prime rib, um, it, it's good for cutting vegetables. I mean, you name it. This is just great. This is how many inches is this? This is six inches. It's a six-inch blade on there, and it's called a boning knife. You need one of these for your kitchen too, because you will use it for so many things. That's why it broke my heart when I, whenever I broke it. And the other day I was sitting on eBay looking at uh, my page and looking at some other things. And just out of curiosity, I typed in kitchen knives and I saw that Frederick Dick, that's how I found out Frederick Dick was actually a really good brand. And I'm like, well, I wonder if I could find the one that goes to my set that I've missed all these years. So I typed in vintage Frederick Dick and boom, this came up. And uh, I'm like, all right, I'll take a chance on it. I think it was like $30. And I just got it today, which is why I'm doing this video. It got me a little excited about it. And uh, I put an edge on it. It's holding an edge real good. It's just like the rest. It's identical. And I just missed this knife for so many years. And now I got it back. So that's the whole reason I'm doing the video. And like I said, but the boning knife is something imperative you need to have in your kitchen if you're going to do your home cooking. And of course, the next one over is a paring knife. Everybody knows what a paring knife is. You need a good paring knife. Not just one of the cheap ones from Walmart out of the dollar bin. 
like I said, you have to keep in mind, I've used these knives for years and years and years. Any restaurant I've ever been at, I've taken my knife. I have a whole carry case for it and everything. A lot of chefs do that. It's, it's tools of the trade. Um, this still, this still, all these years, still on a nice, sharp edge. Uh, they get sharpened about once. I try to do mine about once every six months uh, on average. And uh, the next two over, I mean, it's simple where to put it. Here it is. Just a simple fork and just this issue in lifting stuff out of plates and, you know, for whatever you need it to. It goes at the set. That's why I have it. Um, not much to say about that. It's just in the set. Also, you need to have a way of sharpening your knives. Now, this is a honing blade. Now, the difference between a sharpening blade and a honing blade, a honing blade will, uh, it doesn't actually sharpen, sharpen. I mean, if you sit here long enough, you'll get it sharpened. But what it actually does is, after you run it through a sharpener, or if you have a sharpening blade, this actually makes it more of a finer edge. And uh, may, I should do a whole video on knife usage and some cutting techniques and some things that I've learned over the years. If you guys are interested in that, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Like I said, this is just going to be a short video. Um, I know it's, you think, oh, well, I can just go out to Walmart and get a set of those, uh, get a knife block with those. I'm not going to name the brand, uh, the cheap knife they have out there. I've done that before, too, and they just sit on the kitchen t table. I use them once or twice, and I'm like, these things are terrible. I've been breaking these out at home, you know, when I wasn't working. I was sitting around the house, I'd break them out, and I end up using them anyway because they're just so much better. Now, that, I'm not plugging this company or that company or any company, but for your kitchen, you need a good set of knives that you're comfortable using. Always make sure they're sharp. Everybody's like, oh, well, I don't want to cut myself. It is better to cut yourself with a sharp blade if if you're cutting like this which will make any chef cringe which but a lot of home cooks cut that way and you cut yourself with a dull knife the blade will actually tear your skin it won't actually cut it actually tears it it has a better chance of getting infected it's going to hurt a hell of a lot more and uh you might get a scar but a sharp sharp knife cut you sure it's going to hurt so don't cut yourself i mean i'm not telling you to go cut yourself but if you do with a sharp knife, you'll notice it's going to heal quicker, less of a chance of infection. Sounds dumb. People don't think about it very often, but I've seen the difference on myself whenever I got careless. Because let's face it, we're not all, we're not all perfect. But um, so that's, that's really all I have to say about the knives. Uh, like I said, the one, two, three, the four knives you need most in your kitchen are the long slicer knife, the 10 inch chef blade, a boning knife, and a paring knife. And you can pretty much cook anything you need work on anything you need with just those four knives all the other fancy knives that come in these chopping blocks they just they're no good there's no use for them <clears throat> well like i said just a quick little video to share my nice set with you and like i said i'm i'm just really 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 stoked that i got this one back um because i really missed that knife after i broke the handle and i never learned how to actually fix the handle but uh i'm happy i got the same knife back I mean, I'm still going to miss the old one, but I got the same exact knife back, same model and everything like that. Like I said, these are vintage. I'm not even going to look to see what they're worth. I don't care because as far as I'm concerned, these are priceless and I'm going to use these until I can't use them anymore. But it's been over 30 years and they're still hanging strong. So that's pretty neat. I just want to share that with you guys tonight. I hope you're all doing well. I know I've done a bunch of cooking videos over the weekend because I had a lot of cooking to do for a lot of good people, including my Valentine's dinner I made for my wife. We had Beef Wellington. I made uh, the fish fry video I made for you all. Uh, the egg roll video is what started it. And, uh, of course, I cooked chili, too, again, for the Legion. But I didn't, I didn't videotape that. You'll have to go further down on my list to find my chili video, if you're interested. All right, guys, take care. I'm out, and we'll see you next time. Mm. Reckon they're going to let Mr. Bruce play with sharp objects now. Mm-hmm.